So I have this really nasty habit of buying things that I don't use. So I got a package. While I was doing the closet clean out, I actually made an order to purchase a bunch of clothing. Well, it looks like Sandy Claus came early. And this specifically applies to like makeup palettes because I'll spend like days and days and days and days and days researching the perfect makeup palette that I'll use every day, but it'll also have like every kind of color that is like possible for like different looks and stuff. But then I end up just circling back to using the same old color every single day and not even touching any of the other colors. Why did I even spend all that time researching this? So today I'm gonna pull out this palette and I'm gonna use the other colors. If you're curious about what palette it is that I am talking about, it's this Sweet Tea Palette by Morphe. I've literally bought this a year ago and I've used one color. It's this one, obviously. Maybe a little bit of this. And like, I touched this one. Seven times five, 35 colors in here. So it's kind of atrocious that I bought this and haven't touched any of the other colors. So we're gonna do that today. I feel that I am the way that I am with makeup the same way I am with clothing. Like I buy all these things and I'm just like, ooh, I'm really gonna go outside of my like comfort zone and I'm gonna wear it and then like, when I have an opportunity to wear it, I'm like, oh, it's too cold. So I won't wear it. Yeah, I'm like that with makeup too. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna play with all of these different makeup looks and I'm gonna be super edgy and like cool and like chic and like, and then when the opportunity arises for me to be like edgy and cool and chic, I'm just like, Here's my brown smoky eye. Psst, all this talking is giving me dry lips. So I am trying a bunch of different aesthetics before Valentine's Day. Normally, my aesthetic is like, I normally have curly hair. I have a regular smoky brown eye, brown smoky eye, bodycon dresses, and things of that sort. I don't really know how to label my style, but I need to get outside of that. So today, the style that I'm going for, I took some inspo pics from Pinterest. That's what I'm going for. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera just because that part is boring. Good enough. Okay, I swear I'm not gonna touch my brows anymore. So I've seen this like Mary Phillips makeup type of thing blow up on social media. If you haven't seen it yet, it's just basically where people like contour and stuff before they put on foundation and it gives them like this beautiful flawless glow and stuff. I'm gonna give that a try. I'm gonna start off by cleaning up my brow areas first though, just because that's what I do. I'm into dirty blondes, not dirty brows. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer. I think if you add up all the time that I've spent on my brows, just as like a an activity on its own, I've probably spent like six months out of my life doing my brows. That's like a good estimate. I don't know if I like that number. I'm also gonna put some concealer here, 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 and just everywhere, man. Just go crazy and have fun with it. Great. What else am I gonna do? I feel like I have a contour stick here somewhere. I'm gonna take my contour -y concealer or whatever, and I'm just gonna put like a bunch of it. Real delish. And I'm done. I feel like I need to clean up my brow a little more. I'm gonna blendy blend. I feel like every time social media goes through like one of these phases where they find like a new makeup hack, they're always surprised that it works. And I'm just like, but you're putting makeup on, so it should work. I guess I'm just not a shock. Done with the concealer. Time to blend out the... It doesn't look like I contoured that much, but I don't know if I wanna put foundation on. I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation. This right? I guess I could see why people like this, but I don't see that big of a difference. Let me set my face. Honestly, it looks the same. So do your makeup how you want to do it. Okay, so now for the fun part. Normally I would just put on like this color on my eyeshadow, on my eyelids, and then I would put like black eyeliner and mascara and then call it a day. Very creative. Now I'm going to use other colors in this palette. Like I said I would. I'm gonna start out by priming my eyes with this peachy pink color, kind of mauve, if you will. Dusty rose. I don't know. I'm just gonna go in with this brush just because I feel like it, it's gonna diffuse the color a lot, so. That's like the weakest tap of eyeshadow I could have tried putting on here. Now I'm going to take this, this flat brush. I'm gonna go in with this really bright, really bright pink. I'm just gonna swipe it all over my lid and be very bold with it, yes. I feel like it doesn't show on camera that much. Swipe it all over. I feel like I wanna make it kind of geometric. I'm just gonna keep on applying pink 
until it looks very pink on camera. And I'm going to shape it in like a geometric kind of a way. Whoa, that is very pink. Very, very pink. You can't regret what can be erased. It doesn't look that clean to me. You know what I mean? Kind of wish I had bigger eyelids, but that's not the message I'm supposed to be sending on social media, so. I think this is good. I'm gonna use this color. I know we said we were gonna go outside of our comfort zones, but one step at a time, we're gonna go in with this color just to put shadow down here because I feel naked. And plus it'd be a boring eye look if it was all just one color. I'm gonna take this like rose gold eyeliner color thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line my water, my lower lash line. That's what I'm gonna do. It looks great. And then I'm just gonna put my regular eyeliner on here to see if that'll fix it. Probably gonna extend this or something. I don't know. I don't know. This is really, really great. I feel like it's missing something. I feel like I need to put like pearls. Okay, I'm back. So I have these like pearls that I'm gonna put on my eyes and I'm gonna put like four because four seems like a good number. I am scared. I am going to spill them. I'm gonna put them there. Yay. I feel like that looks like an eye booger. Mm, another one, another one. I don't know if this looks right. Actually, no, whatever, it's cute. I don't know how I feel about this, but we're continuing. Mascara. It's okay, it's okay. I think it's all gonna tie together whenever I have my lipstick on and my hair and my outfit, right? Cause I always feel much better after that. So this is my eye makeup right now. Honestly, every time I look down, all I see are these like white beads and it's like very annoying because I keep thinking they're boogers. I'm gonna put a lip tint just cause I feel like I have a lot going on with the eyes right now. So I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna overline just a little bit just cause I feel like the lip makes everything so much better. Last couple details, same gold liner, and it's going in my inner corner, a little bit of liner there. I am very imprecise about all of this, so. 